dears. Welcome back. Fiber Spider back again with the continuation of the Knit Poncho. Big thank you to Lion Brand for sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining me again today. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start on the ribbing. And as you can see, I have knitted up quite a bit more on my swatch, just going back and forth with those two rounds, the eyelet round and the knit round. And what I did was I ended what I was working on after doing my eyelet round. So the next round is going to be just a knit round um, as far as the eyelets are concerned. That's if I kept going on and on and on. However, we are gonna start the ribbing. So let's get started. Okay, so I just have a, a couple more stitches before the marker, so let's get those out of the way, shall we? Okay, now this doesn't exactly have to be exact because it's so close to where the, the pattern ends and the ribbing begins, so it's not, I would say, an exact science. However, you know, this is one way in which you can do it. If, as always, if there is another way that you're more comfortable with, by all means, go for it. Okay, so just knitting, 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 knitting. Okay, so here is my first eyelet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit this eyelet and slit my marker. Now, because we're going to be starting in on ribbing, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to purl this knit stitch and knit this eyelet because I knit this eyelet on the other side. So I'm going to bring the yarn to the front, purl this knit stitch. There we go. And then knit this eyelet. And then keep going back and forth with the one by one ribbing, which is just knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. Now, the reason why I am doing this as a part two is because while we're going to be incorporating the, the ribbing, we're also still going to be incorporating the eyelets every other round. And that's why... I wanted to go the extra mile because I know only too well that it can get a little confusing. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. So as you can see, we have some knit pearl action going on right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my knit pearl, knit pearl, knit pearl all the way to the next marker. Okay. And I will be right back. Okay, so I'm almost up to my second marker. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because it is going to be a little bit a little bit different from the first one that we did. So I did my purl stitch and knit and the purl. and a knit, and you're probably realizing, oh my, wait a minute. When we first started, we knit the eyelets and we purled that middle knit stitch. Well, we have to reverse that. So I just did a knit stitch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the opposite. So we're going to purl the eyelets and knit that center stitch. So yarns in the front, and just be careful that you don't you, that you don't lose your yarn over that you don't drop that stitch so purl that stitch yarn to the front slip the marker knit the knit stitch 
and then purl that yarn over. And then continue on with the second half of the round, just as we have been doing with your knit purl one by one ribbing. Okay, so again, yeah, I'm going to do the rest of this round off camera. And then when I am approaching my first marker, once again, I will show you how we're going to incorporate the eyelets while still maintaining our ribbing. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm almost back to my first marker. I just have three more stitches to go, so let's take care of those. I did my purl, so finishing right along. We have a knit. And a purl. And a knit. Okay, so now as far as incorporating the, the new fresh eyelids, after doing that last stitch, yarn over, slip the marker, and because we purled this stitch, let's purl it again. You know, either or, again, you're really not going to see the difference, but this is what we're going to do. So, uh, going to you know, to keep this yarn over, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to wrap it all the way around. Oh, let me do this a little bit better. So that I still have my marker where it needs to be. Wrapping it down. Pardon me. There we go. And then purling. So I have my eyelet intact there. Okay. Then purl the next stitch like so, and then yarn over again, um, going over the top. Is not going to work because it means the yarn is in the front. So that being said, we have to go from the back to the back. And I know this sounds like really cockamamie, but because we did our, our purl stitch with the yarn in the front, so yarn to the back around the top like so. You see what I mean? That way, we still have a yarn over here and here, maintaining that purl stitch. Now, if you want to make it easier for yourself, yes, you could have done a yarn over, knit one, yarn over. But sometimes I like to make things a little bit more difficult than they need to be. So we have our yarn over, purl one, yarn over, and then we knit the next stitch. My way, it actually worked. It was a little bit more fiddly and finagly, but it did in fact work because we still have our yarn overs intact. Okay, so I did my knit stitch and then we keep on doing with our purl stitch and then a knit stitch and a purl stitch, continuing on with our one by one ribbing until we reach the next marker. And that really is all you do as far as maintaining your eyelets 
while maintaining your ribbing. So basically all you need to do is the, you know, these two rounds essentially by keep on doing your one by one ribbing and every other round incorporate your new eyelets. And I would say as far as your, your ribbing is concerned, you know, it's totally a matter of personal preference as to how long the ribbing is. However, if you don't add some sort of edging to this, uh, this fabric, because this is the stockinette stitch, if you don't add some sort of border to it, it will curl horrifically. And that's the last thing that I'm sure that you want. No matter how much you block your piece, it will curl. So whether you're doing a one-by-one one ribbing or if you're doing maybe the seed stitch or some other stitch that is not the stockinette stitch, you know, if you don't do that, it will curl. So personally, I find that a, a ribbing works really, really nicely. So that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit around to the next marker, which will be comparatively easier than this marker, and we'll go from there. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I just have a few more stitches left to go before adding my new eyelets before this marker. So let's do those together. It's just a purl knit purl to go. So let's do that. Purl. Knit. And a purl. Okay, now what I can do is I can bring my yarn to the back because I'm going to be knitting that next stitch, right? So I'm going to, you know, if I go this way, it's going to again confuse things how we would normally do it. So let's go around from the back over the top, like so. You know, this, this ribbing, it does sort of change things up a little bit, but as long as you understand which way you're going, it's not that bad. So I did my yarn over, slip the marker, knit the next stitch. Okay. And then going around. See, I'm, I'm starting in the back. I'm not going over the top. I'm going from the bottom over and around, just creating one loop. Okay. So we had our purl, our yarn over, our knit one, and our yarn over. And then I'm going to purl this next stitch because you don't want to create too many loops. Otherwise you will run into a problem. Okay, and then just continue on with your ribbing until you reach the first marker. And then really it's just a matter of following suit with your stitches. Knit the knits, purl the purls, and not adding any extra stitches. Okay, so I'm going to keep on keeping on until I reach the beginning of the round, and I'll see you in a flash. Okay, so I'm almost back to the beginning again, and again, yes, there is a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a you know, bit of a weirdness, if you will, because uh, we have our purl stitch and then a knit stitch, and then we have our yarn over and a purl stitch, 
a yarn over and a knit stitch. So that being the case, we have to make some accommodations here. It's not really a big deal because this middle line, it's kind of negligible when it comes to the, the edging, okay? However, the, the stitches that are for the body of the work, those are the ones that you want to focus on. So let's do these next two stitches, and then we will deal with our yarn over, purl, yarn over. Okay, so do the purl. And then we do a knit. And then a pearl, believe it or not. And then even though this was a pearl, we are going to make it into a knit stitch. So let me just slip my marker because we're not adding any eyelets this round. Make this one into a knit stitch. It is going to be a knit stitch, right? Yes, it's going to be a knit stitch. And then purl. And so on and so forth. See, it's not so much about that middle stitch, it's much more about the stitches for the body of your poncho that you want to worry about. Alrighty, so <clears throat> as you can see, we've made considerable progress. And so really all you need to do is just these two rounds making adjustments for your eyelets as needs be. And I'm gonna do a number of rounds for my ribbing. I would suggest doing mm, approximately, again, you know, inch, inch and a half worth of ribbing for the base, more if you want it. And then I will show you how to do the bind off, which is going to be a super stretchy bind off, which I would totally recommend. If you don't want to do that, you can do a regular bind off, utilizing perhaps either a very, very loose tension or using larger needles. Either way should work out fine. Personally, I prefer the stretchy bind off which I will show you already. Okay, so when you're ready for your bind off and you have enough ribbing done, and me, I slipped my marker, although I'm not gonna need it right now because we're forging ahead with the bind off. So all you need to do is to knit two stitches, one, and two, and then inserting your needle through the front of those two stitches. Wrap the yarn around, pull the yarn through. And yes, I got it, okay. And up. You wanna do this loosely if possible. So knit the next stitch and then through the front of those two stitches, yarn around and up and off. Knit the next stitch through the front of those two stitches, around through and off. Knit the next stitch. 
yarn through the front of the two. Turn around, pull up through, and off. Knit the next stitch. Through the front. And just keep doing this all the way until you are out of stitches. So this does create a nice stretchy, stretchy bind off. And actually I do have a tutorial on this as well. And just as a reference, I will put that in the description box as well. Just knitting the next stitch. Through the front and around. And off. And there you go. All right. Now, as far as this bind off, um, you know, yeah, you are going to uh, probably want to use uh, a, a secondary needle in order to do the, the bind off, basically transferring this loop onto another size 10 needle if you're using a size 10. Um, that way uh, you don't have to worry about running out of cord <laughs> um, because you know, you have to keep shifting the work this way and so on and so forth. So yes, you will need an additional needle. All right. So that being said, just keep on keeping on with your bind off and you will have a finished poncho. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So listen, everybody, I do hope that you enjoyed this sort of tutorial formula on how to make your own poncho. I thought it was a lot of fun. And also, like I said before, it is a great opportunity to use this blank canvas to incorporate new stitches, some experimental lace, you know, go crazy, have some fun. And this is, like I said, a really fabulous yarn because it has its own really unique sort of speckle colorway and the the cotton blend is perfect for this springtime time of year mm -hmm. yeah so listen everybody thank you so very much for watching lion brand thank you so very much for sponsoring this video and until next time you know what to do stay inspired stay caffeinated stay stitching and please stay safe take care of yourselves and each other and i will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.